My name is Rich Rassen, I'm the principal here at Elma High School, and I want to welcome you to the 2025, incoming class of 2025, Parent Information Night. So I'll start by talking to the class of 2025. Welcome to the high school. We are very excited to have you. We're excited to have you in person. You have an opportunity when you come into the high school and that you get a fresh start. Everything you do from this point forward will be on a transcript and those transcripts will follow you the rest of your life. Now that sounds scary. However, we are going to help you with that every step of the way. What your job is, is to think about who you want to be and be that person. You get to reinvent yourself and we'll help you reinvent yourself when you come here. So we are excited to have you. Here's some information for parents. Um, this video is going to have a lot of information on it. Um, take notes and if you have questions, jot those questions down because tonight, which will be March 17th, from 6.30 to 7.15, we will have a Zoom link out to your emails where we'll answer those questions live for you. So to the students, welcome to Elma High School. We are so happy to have you. And the parents, uh, we will work together so that your student has the best opportunity here at Elma High School. Go Eagles. Hello, I'm Ms. Belden, the assistant principal at Elma High School. And I'm excited to meet you in person and really looking forward to you being a part of our Elma High School. Let's have a great year. Good evening and welcome to the class of 2025 registration. My name is Mrs. Smith and I serve the last names A through K. I've worked at Elma High School for going on 27 years now, and I fully admit that this is the first time that we've had to do a virtual registration. So I expect this to be a little rough. Please bear with us while we cover this information. I'm going to start talking about graduation requirements and the eight, eight pathways that are required in order to graduate. All of the information that I'm gonna cover is available in our class of 2025 education planner. I am Mrs. Quinn and I serve students with the last names beginning with L through Z. Can you believe it's time to register your students for their freshman year of high school? It has certainly not been a typical middle school school experience for you, but we're so excited for your students to attend Elma High School. This is the registration form. <clears throat> Um, that we will use to register students for next year, but the form will actually be on a Google form this year for Elma middle schoolers. For McClary students, you will get the paper form. Um, I'm gonna review the form for both of you briefly, um, but for Elma middle school, you'll have access to this Google form in next Friday's Counselor Corner with Mrs. Rasnan, so please make sure to attend this week. The registration form needs to be completed by Wednesday, March 24th. Your student will be given an uh, educational planner at school that will assist in the education or, or registration process next year. If you have further questions, both mine and Mrs. Smith's contact info is available online and also in the educational planner. Additionally, all the documents we're referring to will be available on the Elma High School counselor's webpage. Every freshman will have six classes next year. You're, you'll have an English class that will be predetermined, a math class that will be predetermined, and careers and health. A science class, you have two options. You can choose biology or environmental biology. The difference between the two classes ex is explained in the education planner. For example, biology, when students are studying cells, they will be studying a cell of a human. But in environmental biology, if they're studying cells, they could be studying the cells of a plant or an animal. Students are also required to have a PE class. They can choose from four options. The general PE class, they can choose a body conditioning class, which is also known as weightlifting. They could choose a cardio class or they could choose sports and nutrition. And lastly, each student will get to choose an elective. In addition to your first choice elective, you'll, you'll choose two alternates. We do our best to place you in your first choice but that's not always possible. More information about the electives that we offered are in the educational planner. So remember, Elma Middle Schoolers, you are gonna register for your classes during Counselor Corner this week. And McClary students, you are going to get the paper form and turn that back into your office by March 24th. So your students in the class of 2025 will need 24 credits in order to graduate. 
we are going to go over the credit requirements next. So in English, you need four credits. In math, you need three credits. Algebra, geometry, and a third year math. In science, you need three credits, two of which are laboratory science. In social studies, you also need three credits. That's world history, US history, and CWP. One credit is required in career and technical education. A half a credit is required in iConnect class. One and a half credits are required in PE. A half a credit is required in health. One credit is required in art. Three credits are required in the PPR, which stands for Personalized Pathway Requirement. The remaining credits are made up of electives. Students are required to have three and a half electives in order to meet the 24 credit graduation requirement. All of this information is available in the Education Planner. So in closing, just a reminder, our contact information is available in the back of the Education Planner and all of the documents that we are referencing tonight will be available on the Counselor Center page. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact either one of us. Thank you. Hello, my name is Krista Oderman and I am the ninth grade student support person here at Elma High School. That means I monitor each and every student's grades and ensure that they are on track academically for graduation. I'm also here to support their transition into high school and I look forward to getting to know the class of 2025. Well, I'm Christy Kershaw. I'm the career and technical education director here at Elma School District. I'm also a parent of three daughters that have gone through Elma High School and the school district, uh, K through 12. And I would like to just share with you some thoughts about parent support of your uh, teenager coming into high school. Uh, this is an opportunity for your child to grow and, be, and start their journey as a young adult and preparing for their life after high school. Part of that journey is them becoming independent and having some control and insight about their career path and their options, but at the same time, us as a parent of how do we guide and direct them and support them as they go through this journey. One of the things that I found is that Skyward is an amazing opportunity for you to stay connected uh, with their grades, making sure that they don't have missing assignments and that they're turning in things. Um, and also your communication with teachers. Uh, currently, we use Skyward for grading, but we also have Google Classrooms. And this is a way where a lot of our teachers have put different assignments on that you can go ahead and work and, and support your student with. Additionally, here at the high school, we will have weekly supports that go out via email about what your, your son or daughter are doing and where their current grades are. This is an excellent way for you to support them um, and to see where their progress is. And then the other thing that I would like to share with you is that if you haven't done so already, the Skyward app for your phone is an excellent tool and an excellent app uh, that really gives you quick access to see where they're at with missing assignments. And lastly, just remember that we are paperless and report cards are done via email uh, through Skyward. And again, keep that in check and order for your student because their GPA does count and passing their classes is a must in order for them to graduate. Hi, my name is Kelly Alexander, and I'm a parent of a class of 2025 student, Jackson. And I'm here today to invite you all to join our Elma Eagles 2025 Parent Booster Group. This group meets occasional, occasionally throughout the year to plan and fundraise for future events for our class of 2025. Our major goal is to be able to raise money to support a safe and sober party for graduation. Our most current events that we're planning for this year is eighth grade um, promotion and um, activities. So here is some contact information. There is, you can contact by joining the Facebook group that is Elma Eagles 2025 Parent Boosters, or you can contact any of the names here on the paper um, by email or phone and we would love to connect with you so you can help support your kids for the class of 2025. Hi, I'm Mrs. Sievers, ASB advisor here at Elma High School, and I'm here to talk to you about some great ways that we support the freshmen here when they first start. 
We have a great program that we do called Freshman Flight Academy, where we try to get you interested in activities and events happening, learn a little bit about the school culture, and just start feeling comfortable. Our goal this spring before you graduate eighth grade is to have you come over and do some tours. And then later in the year, we have a freshman academic support specialist who you will also see in this video that's there for you to help you with anything that you need. And then don't forget, we have great teacher support. So really, we wanna make sure your transition from middle school to high school is smooth and easy as possible and reach out to those people. The other thing I wanted to talk to you guys about as ASB advisor is get involved. We have so many great clubs, activities, and sports here at Elma High School that there really is something for everyone. I know out right now is like TikTok dances. Uh, consider joining the dance team. If you're one of those people that likes to show your friends all that random information you know, consider joining Knowledge Bowl. Are you a person that wants to gain leadership skills? Join Skills USA or FFA. There's so many great opportunities here at Elma High School that I cannot stress enough that you guys should pick one and do it. Parents, talk to your kids about getting involved. There's studies that show being involved will actually help you with so many things. Build your confidence, get good grades, and just get to know people. Right now, we have to do this over video because we can't do a lot together. So when we are together, consider joining something, a club, an activity, or a sport. So that way we can bond and really feel what it's like to be an Elma High School student. If you have any questions, contact me. My information will be somewhere on this video or some handout. Um, and we will also have a list of all of our clubs and activities and who to contact for more information um, with this video, whether you're viewing this from the email or on the website. Have a great day. Hello and welcome to Alma High School class of 2025. Um, I just wanna introduce myself. So I'm Kelly Nolan and I am your financial secretary. So when you get up to the high school, you're gonna have things that you need to pay for, such as your ASB cards. You may even come see me to get an annual. Um, if you have any fines or fees that come up, you would come see me for that. Um, if you ever have any questions or need help with anything, um, just come on down and see us and we're excited to work with you guys. Thank you. Wow, you have gotten a lot of information tonight and we are so excited to have your child enter the Elma High School doors for the class of 2025. To end this session tonight, we wanted to leave you with a final thought about making sure that your child has a mean, meaningful diploma as they go through Elma High School. The main thing that we really want your child to do is be ready for a career. Whether that is going through straight to work right out of high school, going to a community technical college, going to a university, apprenticeship, or military. At Elma High School, we have options and opportunities to prepare your child for the, that next step in their journey. During these opportunities, we have some amazing options with college in the high school. We also have in our CTE courses, we have a lot of dual credits where we are articulated with community colleges. So once they enter that community college, they already have credits in hand. We also have opportunities for students to get industry cert certificates, including CPR, food handlers, forklift training, and we have also have a core plus program in manufacturing that leads them straight to work if they choose to do that. Again, all of these opportunities are helping your child be prepared for the next step in their journey in life beyond high school as they prepare for a career. Additionally, part of a meaningful experience and a diploma is actually having that experience in Elma High School and being involved and engaged. Being involved with activities, co-curricular activities such as band, choir, FFA, FBLA, Skills USA, and more, or extracurricular activities with our sports and activities, Knowledge Bowl, Writing Club, we have amazing things for your student to be involved with that are gonna develop leadership skills, the ability to team, the ability to work together with other people and also build their resume, which is so vital as they uh, apply for scholarships, apply for entry level jobs and pursue their career beyond high school. Again, we are excited to have your child uh, be at Elma High School and looking forward to them and you entering the doors of Elma High School and supporting them in their journey as they go through Elma High School and have and pursue a meaningful diploma.
Thank you.